Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Naquan Jordan, the AI protagonist, and in this video we are finally taking a look at Stable Diffusion 3. So it is for free now, they have the API made available, and you can actually use it on a few of the different uh, AI art websites out there. The one that we're going to be looking at is CART AI. So CART does have uh, Stable Diffusion 3 available. It is just the base model, but you can use it using credits. You don't have to be an upgraded member. You can be a free member. You just need the credits in order to use it. So here is some examples of images that I was able to create using the new Stable Diffusion 3. And what I want to do is just kind of show off what it can do and also show you how you can access the new model. So first and foremost, if you are on CART, you just click on the Swift AI and you go to Stable Diffusion 3 and it will bring up this page here. This is the SD3 page. You can see the one of the images that I've created over here and you can see my history. So you can see I've definitely been using this, creating a lot of different images. So it's pretty simple. You have your prompt box right here and then you have your negative props here. You do have two different models that you can use. There's Stable Diffusion 3 Turbo and Stable Diffusion 3. The difference is of course, how long it takes to generate the image. And if you use SD3, it will cost 45 credits. Whereas if you use Turbo, it will only cost 30 credits. So I recommend using Turbo. Then you have your aspect ratio and you have your seed. You can customize or just keep it on random. Now with the actual image area, once you generated your image, you can download, save it to your profile, or you can hit on delete. And they have a few extra options here. Generation info, thumbnail display, uh, save this set of images and delete this set of images. So there is some things that are kind of missing right now. First and foremost, once you've created an image, like this is an old image that I created, um, I think it might have been yesterday I created this. There is no way to actually bring up the prompt. If I go to the image Im uh, information, it just gives you some basic information. It doesn't actually tell you what the prompt was. When you click on it, you just get a full screen view, which looks really good. But there is no way for me to actually pull up the prompt that I used for this image. Uh, if I click on another image, it's pretty much the same thing. If I look at the generation image or generation info, nothing about the prompt. You can click on the image. All it does is gives you a nice, uh, nice full screen, but that is it. There's no way for me to see the prompts that I used. So for now, if you decide to use this, be sure to save your prompts. Once you get a really nice looking image, save the prompt so that you can recreate that image. I actually don't even remember what prompt I used for this. And the same goes for a lot of these others as well, which is very unfortunate. So now let's, uh, let's actually generate something. So I got a very basic prompt in here. Teenage and girl with braids. This is part of my Leilani prompt. Whenever I want to do some images of her, just a shortened version of it. And I have it on turbo, so as you can see, it's going to generate very quickly, which is really nice for SD3 Turbo, and that's it. Just like that, here is a new image of Leilani, and she looks really good. Uh, I did do some Gwen Stacy images. Actually, I can do a new one real quick. Just type in Gwen Stacy, click on Generate, and when you're doing these realistic images, as you can see, you don't actually need to add a lot of the stuff that you do for other stable diffusion models. You don't have to add the word realistic or anything like that. It just natively creates realistic images. Of course, if you wanted to do something like an illustration. All right, so I just did a uh, Gwen Stacy comic book, style, uh, comic book style illustration, and this was the result. So you can just add the um, add a very basic prompt and it will easily 
read what it is and determine what you're looking for. So it's very nice, very fast and very easy to use. So that was pretty much it. I just wanted to show off the new um, Stable Diffusion 3 and how you can use it. Of course, I will leave a link to CART AI down in the description if you're not a member yet. I highly recommend them. It is a great platform. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.